Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Hope you guys are doing well. All right. So we have discovery, intention with loss events. So someone feels like they went from having it all to suddenly having nothing here. Losing everything. Uh, someone also feels at a loss. There's this feeling of uh, finally knowing what they're, they truly want. I wish I had treated you better and I love you. Yeah, somebody definitely is in their feelings now and understanding the consequences of how this unfolded. Overall energy, we have two of pentacles. This is about keeping things on the up and up, but balance here. Okay, someone, it feels like uh, unable to keep things uh, in order or balanced. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have six of cups, king of cups, and the queen of swords. Yes, so you guys are very intelligent. Emotionally intelligent is what I'm picking up. And we all know this about Scorpios, right? You guys are there for everyone, very compassionate, uh, but don't overstep because the line will be drawn. And that's exactly what's happening in the Queen of Swords here. You feel like uh, you've been taken for granted in some way or um, betrayed, misused when it comes to matters of the heart. Almost someone used your feelings and passion for them against you. It almost feels as if uh, you look back in the past constantly now and you wish you could change a couple things that you said or did so that this person wouldn't feel like they had the power. But I see that this week uh, is good because the King of Cups with the Six of Cups is reassuring you that the pain and the turmoil that you've gone through is for a reason. And so you get this insight in the Queen of Swords. You're kind of like, okay, I had to go through this to get to the light because now I see that I've learned a lot. I know what I want. I know what I'll put up with and what I won't. And now I can see things 10 steps ahead. So uh, it really is a good energy for you because uh, you're learning a lot about yourself at this time. Uh, I do see some of you, um, you know, I'm picking up here. A lot of you have been through some restless nights, specifically at night here. Uh, it feels like your mind just starts overthinking and some of you uh, end up, you know, by yourself just crying alone here. Uh, if that's the case, my heart goes out to you. It's a lot of pain and struggle. That's what I'm seeing. But you know what I do see is that there's a light at the end of the tunnel here. Something's coming uh, that's going to make you feel more empowered than ever okay five of wands temperance judgment and the queen of wands for their energy they're feeling like they're watching you and they don't like what they see also uh, struggling here so you might feel like this person feels like they won in a sense but they know they haven't actually they've taken a great hit they've lost a lot in this situation and they didn't realize it until you were gone. So as the saying goes, uh, you don't realize what you have till it's gone. But with the temperance judgment, they realize moving forward, you know, they need to be a person of integrity, make better decisions. But you have impacted their life in a way that is life changing here. And it seems as if they're trying to learn and move forward and I'll do it better next time. They can't quite let you go. There's something about you that they feel is so special. And it has to do with your tenacity here, Queen of Wands, your passion for them. You understanding them and fighting for them, even when it's hard, is something that they've never had. They've never had anyone back them up. And you had their back. This whole time, tell the Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands. Yeah, there is this feeling of letting you down, almost like they treated you as if you didn't mean a lot to them, but you really did, uh, and not really fighting for you or fighting for this connection. It feels like they let other things, other circumstances here, this can be people, places, or things, uh, pressure from outside sources get in the middle of this connection or get in their ear almost as if 
you know, they were trying to fight against their feelings at times. Tell us if I wands. Ace of Swords. Yeah. The struggle became real during the separation when they realized all I can think about and want is commitment here. What I truly desire in the Nine of Cups is to be honest and uh, go after what I want. And I want them in my future. I still want them to be a part of it. All right, let's see what's happened in the past. We have the Moon, King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. So their intentions were very unclear. I see for a lot of you, maybe they were showing you, okay, by expressing this or making promises here, uh, that they were on the same page, wanting commitment, stability. You both uh, had the same feelings towards each other. But there was somewhat of an illusion going on. It almost feels like something was fishy here. Something was suspicious about certain things that they said or did. Something didn't align. That was starting to really get to you. Tell the moon. Four of Swords. A lot of you um, were dealing with somebody that can be uh, an introvert at times. Uh, uh, not, not all the time. It just seems like they kind of are guarded or they keep things to themselves. Uh, oh, I just heard they were always so quiet. Um, not really addressing the issue possibly here. Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands due to fear. This person fearing uh, that they don't have what it takes. They don't believe in themselves. Uh, and this can stem from a lot of things here in their past where they feel unworthy of love or they don't feel uh, lovable. Tell me the Eight of Wands. Let's see. Three of Cups. Nine of Swords. Some of you are dealing with someone that might have social anxiety or um, they don't like to talk to people that they really care about on a deep level. They kind of get fearful or uh, doubt themselves uh, to be vulnerable, almost like they don't trust if it would be used as ammo against them. Uh, there's a deep-seated fear here. If it's not social anxiety, uh, for some of you this can be a third party where they feel like uh, that they can't do what they please at any time that they want. It makes them detach from connecting with you quite often because they know they can't have it or it starts to get to them. And for others of you, this person just fears being happy because they don't see it as sustainable. It's almost like uh, they're so afraid to open up uh, to let in, uh, let, let people in to become happy because they feel like it can be taken away as well. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, the Tower. Let's get some more details. Page of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles for the challenge. Okay, so this was really frustrating for you. It looks like that a lot of you went through uh, possible financial damage from this or you went through um, a lot of emotional turmoil where there was stress, where you felt like it was starting to interrupt your normal life. Especially with the Page of Wands here, it felt like this person was always one foot in and one foot out. Therefore, you couldn't trust them. And so you were starting to not trust your own feelings towards them. It became really hard to invest here, even though you invested a lot of time and energy into this. Always waiting for them to prove you wrong, to uh, come around, do the right thing, or um, you know, follow through with their promises. But they just never did. Uh, tell me the Page of Wands. Also, a lot of them uh, went through something in their environment that disrupted their finances or could be a job loss here because I'm seeing multiple things with the Ten of Wands. They could have not only uh, lost their job or something going on in their home and at the same time lost gripping of this connection because they feel like they've lost it all at this moment. Uh, Nine of Wands. Yeah, very hesitant here. It's almost like they just didn't want to give into it, their feelings for you, uh, too much. They had to kind of keep themselves accountable, try to pull back as much as possible in the Nine of Wands. Tell us this uh, Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords. There was just no peace for you in the situation. Uh, tell us the Tower. Let me see what this is. The devil. 
four of cups. Okay. So yes, a lot of you went through a really tough time with them because towards the end, it felt like you were rejected or there was no way to reach out. Something substantial happened that stopped this connection that you were very surprised about, almost betrayed in a sense. A lot of you felt like this per person rejected you emotionally towards the end. And uh, it felt like they were so self-absorbed, they almost turned into somebody that you didn't recognize. And this became uh, very upsetting for you. I see a lot of you. Yeah, you know, I keep seeing tears. I keep seeing some of you really having a hard time here. Oh, this breaks my heart. Tell me the Four of Cups. Page of Swords. I know I probably shouldn't dig, but I want to see how you're doing. Page of Swords, Two of Cups. Yeah. Nothing's worse than being left with unanswered questions. Not knowing what this person really feels and that you are completely blocked. You have no way of getting a hold of them. Or if that's not the case, it feels like that they're just not wanting to engage. And uh, that's disheartening, especially if you invest a lot. And just being suddenly cut off from the one that you love uh, without being able to uh, talk about it, it is, yeah, that's heartbreaking. It does feel like a betrayal here. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. We have the Seven of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Empress, King of Swords, Six of Wands. Uh, someone's changing their tune, wanting to start over here, but something huge is about to happen. This is going to completely change the ball game. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.